only guy whose name was on both lists died when he was 10. What are you gonna do now? Pick up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. You never give up, do you? She's convinced she's onto something. And here's me, thinking we're wasting our friggin' time in this friggin' cemetery. <laughs> this girl knows her mind all right. No point in trying to reason with her. I should be investigating Gordy Kramer right about now. And here I am, standing in a cemetery, pouring rain, looking for the grave of a kid who's been dead for 30 years. I hate cemeteries. They depress the hell out of me. I was following Lauren. Got ahead Excuse me. That girl I'm is looking one for the really grave of a young shape. boy who died about 30 years ago. His name was John Shepard. Well, look at just look, look at Scott in the back. It is by any chance. The children's graves are in the next plot. Thanks. Time to look for John Shepard's grave. It's cold. It's raining. I'm standing outside getting soaked. Oh, how I love my job. The sooner we find that grave, the sooner we can get the hell out of here. Yep. I'm actually looking at all these for no nothing. Oh, his name that name his name was John, but it wasn't the John we we're looking for. There's an origami figure. Origami figures. That's one hell of a coincidence. Oh, youngin. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. I remember what happened. It was in 77, October. again. What are we gonna do? It's pouring rain. We're gonna get soaked if we spend a day outside. Well, this won't get beat. The rain never hurt nobody. Come on, let's go play. What the cat father? Bet you can't catch me! I found come back. John's right. We can't just stand here all day. 
Might as well go and play. Mom won't be back from work till later. She wouldn't let him treat us like this. Being out in the rain is nothing compared to being in when he's like that. And where's my gun? John is going too fast. He never waits for me. This big fight. Come on! I told you to watch your head. <laughs> you dumbass. What? Jeez, you ain't nothing but a slow poke. Oh, I'm supposed to tap him, not hold him. Bruh. Inside is empty. Makes for a great playground. Jeez, you're in nothing but a slow boat. Come on, loser. What you doing? You're coming or not? Man, my brother's a dick. Okay, man. <laughs> Bruh. I think you went down here. Careful, kid. You got it. You got it. There we go. Come on, it's your turn. Wow. 
Where the hell am I going? Hello? No way I'm scared. It's as easy as po I'm not gonna. Eight, I'm not gonna cheat. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Help. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Those cries. That's John's voice. My foot. My foot is stuck. Grab on. I'll put it over there. find any help. And his brother drowned in a pipe full of rainwater. The boy that lived, what happened to him? Well, all I know is he got separated from his parents. Adopted. Well, looks like a storm's coming. I guess I better be getting home. Yikes. Christ, what a horrible story. John Shepard drowned in the rain while holding his brother's hand. Do you think he... He could be the origami killer? Come on, let's get back in the car. There's nothing else for us here. Let's go. The kid died... 30 years ago. Who's still tending the grave after all these years? <laughs> there she goes again. Surprising me. Wait. What's the matter? That matter. Kramer. Yeah? That's Gordy Kramer's father. Charles Kramer. Gordy's father? What's he doing? Putting flowers on John Shepard's grave. Interesting. All right, back from Madison after nearly being sawed by a freaking old man.
buddies of Dr. Death. I better watch my step. Still haven't gotten over my encounter with Dr. Death. Come on, fam. Place ball for the jet set. Not really my thing. I've nothing against techno trance, whatever music, but this stuff is really loud. Paco's pet goon isn't letting anyone through. Gonna have to think of something else. I'm going to have to rethink my strategy if I want to talk to the I've got to find something to change. Maybe I could catch his attention by strutting my stuff. What's up here? Oh, screw shit. Okay then. Well, can't go up there. Fuck, these people let me through. Bam! Can I get on this? Uh, again. I don't know about if I could do this. He's gonna do the same fucking thing, isn't he? Guess it's time to sexy up my performance. Well, I need this good place to change.
time to play the sexy girl. Let's see what else we can do. Oh, hell nah. Ah, oh, hell no. Nah. Is there anything else in I've got a gun in here, fam. Alright, we're good. I hope, anyway. Jesus, Madison. Fucking hell, honestly. Feels like the whole place is watching me. I suppose I'm not exactly keeping a low profile. Now, lover boy, let's see if you can resist this. Oh, you looking at me? Oh, you're looking at his little. Oh. Go in, 
and then you talk to the gun, and I get out of there before I get into big trouble. Everything's gonna be all right. Everything is going to be all right. Shit. So, welcome to my little kingdom. Okay, buddy. Just get in the way of the good thing, sweet cheeks. So, show me what you can do. Take it off. Slowly. Take it all off. All off? Okay, uh, could... Could I have a drink? You know, just a little drink to break the ice. Oh, we already broke the ice. Oh. Let's get wet. Come on. Do your thing, girl. Uh, could, could we just talk first? Oh, no. We don't need anyone talking. I all talk talk. Now, show me what you can do. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, um, I, I think there's been a little misunderstanding. Look, look uh, I, I'll, I'll just go. No harm done. Another time. I think it is you who have misunderstood, honey. Okay. I'm tired of wasting my time. It's now or never, baby. And I never take never for an answer. But you will have to now. Uh, why? Just like that. I'll puke if he so much as touches me. Think of something. There's gotta be some way out of here. Fam, stop on the go. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh no. Do what it takes, Mad. Play for time. I can call for help. Oh, that's stupid. With this music, who's gonna hear me? Oh my god. Could make a die for him. Go for the throat. I don't think that was just too tough. I wouldn't stand a chance. The lamp. If only I could find some way to grab it. Oh I know. Twat. That's what I call kicking butt. You go, girl. Dickhead. Okay, act two. Let's hear Lover Boy sing. Hey, wake up. So unlucky. If you call out, I'll kill you. Got it? Shit. What you want? You rent an apartment on Marble Street. I want to know why. An apartment? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, 
<laughs> you haven't got the balls, lady. But you're gonna know balls when I cash up with you. <laughs> you fucking bitch! I'm gonna kill you! Boss? Talk then. Is everything all right? All right, Madis, that's enough. Madis, okay, please stop, stop. If you value those prize balls of yours, Paco, then it's time for you to talk. What you doing? Stop it! Stop it! I'm only getting started. How about some more? Ah, I never saw foot in that apartment. I gave the keys to some guy. He said he needed a place. He had money. What was his name? What was that guy's name? I, I don't know his name. I swear. Ah, ah. Shepard! Name is John Shepard! That's all I know, I swear it! But he's dead! There, that wasn't so hard, was it? I really appreciated this romantic moment. No, you lied. A dash. See you next time, lover boy. Not Madison. <laughs> How about that? You didn't do too badly now, did you, girl? to get out of here. Next time he'll think twice before he takes a cute chick up to his office. The name he gave me. John Shepard. Is that the name of the Kelly? No. I guess I'll soon find out. I think he's still alive. Well, that was a pretty good way of getting a guy to spill his guts. <laughs> All right, and we're off. All right, now back with Norman Jaden. I'm here to see Paco. Paco? There ain't no Paco here, fella. Get lost. Are you absolutely certain? He's in his office. Take the stairs over there. Oh, it's you. Scared me. I gotta hear you come in. A crazy beast came around here asking questions about the apartment on Marble Street. I don't know what you're doing now, and I don't want to know. But whatever that shit is, it's beginning to draw attention. Look, I know you get me out of prison. But that fucking bitch nearly killed me. Everything you ask, I think my debt to you is paid. Don't fuck around, man. No. No, wait. I, I can still help you out. No. No. Don't keep me. Oh, no. He got killed. You were shot. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you can see he got a bullet wound in his head. Behind you, Norman.
Oh Gott. Uh, really, Jaden? Well, oh, come on, Norman. John Shepard still alive? I thought, wait, so is John Shepard alive? The whole, like he faked his death? Or someone's using the um, name John Shepard? Shit, looks like a dead end. Road to nowhere. Madison Page? What was the journalist doing here? Huh. Orchid pheromones, the fucking origami killer. The killer was looking for something. Paco Mendes was no saint. His rap sheet reads like the telephone book. Forty-five caliber. Forty-five caliber semi-automatic. coat pocket. I tore it off during the fight. Two receipts from the same gas station. Interesting. Hmm. I have a gun. Madison Page? She may be a witness. Ah, 
I'll end up a basket case if things keep going like this. That bastard nearly broke my neck. He... He could have killed me. Why didn't he? I don't think there's anything else to investigate, really. Maybe. <laughs> we will never know, Norman. Back with Ethan. Oh, he's crying. Ethan, are you all right? I... I killed a man. <laughs> I had no choice. I had no choice. You're not the origami killer, Ethan. You're not responsible for those murders. I can prove it. That changes nothing. Saving Sean is all that matters now. See, the thing is, if I do it, it could lead to something. If I don't do it, if I do it, it could lead to something but will waste time on Sean. If I don't do it, uh, I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. Uh... Fuck it.
I really no 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 oh god. Yeah, I ain't taking that off, fuck that. Careful. Oh, her eyes opened. The last letters, 961 Rainbow Lane. She's the only person I can trust, but now I have to be alone to do what I have to do. Things might have worked out between us if circumstances had been different. Ethan, what's the matter? I thought I meant something to you. Listen, I... You're a pretty good nurse for a fucking journalist! <gasps> Ethan, I, I, I wanted to tell you, but... What kind of article were you gonna write? My life with a serial killer? No, no, no. How I caught the origami killer. Maybe you'll get a book deal. I hope it was fucking worth it! Ethan, it's not what you think. I... Yikes. You lied to me, Madison. All this time you fucking lied to me. I thought you wanted to help me, but you're only thinking of writing a fucking book. It's true. I'm a journalist. And I knew that you were the father of the boy who had disappeared and and I wanted to cover the story. But then I saw what you were going through to save your son. And... And I understood how much you love him. I wanted to tell you the truth, but I couldn't. I was afraid that you... That you... May not believe me. 
I was afraid that you'd ask me to go. All I want is for you to find your son alive. And when it's all over, I want to be with you. I'm going to forgive her. I don't want to reject. I'm sorry, Ethan. I'm so sorry. The story these two have been through, I don't think, like, they look like they could be the perfect couple. Since Ethan doesn't have a wife anymore. You're leaving. Aren't you? It's the last origami figure. The last letters, then I'll know where Sean is. Take care, Ethan. I can't lose you now. I'm gonna go find something to eat. Wait for me, I'll, I'll be back in ten minutes. I haven't got ten minutes, fam. I, um... I think I'm starting to fall in love. Now we gotta find his son. And I think I know where to start looking. We'll find his son and prove he's innocent. I'll be able to help him now that he knows who I am. I was so afraid he wouldn't believe me. Wrong move, idiot. I should have admitted everything. Where am I going? I'm walking around in circles, but I don't know where I'm going. Oh shit. Cops. They're looking for Ethan. It looks like a raid. What's going on? Is this great? Like being in a TV show. Who'd have thought it? The origami killer renting a room here. He registered under a false name, but I recognized his face. Come on, what was the damn number? That was a 209. Crap, that's not it. No, 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 it was 207. It was 207. Circle. Come on, come on. Pick up the phone. Hello? The cops. They're in the motel. You've got to get out of here. Oh my god, I thought I was, I was messed up. I thought I messed up and called the, when I called the wrong house. Or the wrong um, room. Sorry. Fuck it. Jump down.
behind your head. Easy, pal. Nowhere to go. You're surrounded. Jump. Holy Sorry, man. I need a car. Sorry. Hey, what's the matter with you? No. Oh, my God. Oh, fam, that was very close.